everyone, Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making an extra small dog sweater or a small cat sweater and we are going to be making it with a ribbed edge. We'll be starting that in just a moment. Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are making an extra small dog sweater or a small cat sweater. We are going to start from the waist and we're going to work our way to the neck. And we are going to do a ribbed edging. So you're going to need, I'm doing it two colors, so I have my um, edging color and my main body color. You're going to need a five millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to need a darning needle. Let's get started. First, with your edging color, we are going to chain 40. Now, do your chain however you do. This is how I do. I cross my yarn over, yarn over, and pull through the loop. We're going to do 40 of these, okay? So do that, meet me back. Okay, so my, I did my chain of 40, and now I'm just going to join with that first chain. Okay. So we're going to slip stitch. Chain up three. One, two, three. Now we're going to double crochet in every stitch around. So you should end up with 40 double crochets, okay? So to do a double crochet, you're going yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. Okay, that's how you do a double crochet. Go through the stitch, pull through. Pull through. Okay, do that all the way around. Meet me back. Okay, so I have gone around. I've got 40 stitches and now I'm going to slip stitch into that third chain for the chain up three that we did. Okay, slip. Whoopsies. So in the third chain, slip stitch. Now we're going to chain up three again. Now this is where we're starting to make our ribbing, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to do a double crochet, but we're not going into the stitch on top like we normally do. We are going around the post. So yarn over around the back of the post, pull through, double crochet, yarn over, we're gonna go around the front of the post, pull through. Okay, so see what I did there? Yarn over around the back. My crochet hook went around the back of the post. Yarn over, we're going around the front of the post. Okay. And we're going to do that all the way around. Front, back, front, back, front, back. And see what it's doing? It's giving us a ridge. Um, so. Front. Nope, I did two of those. See, you can tell I did two. Okay, so this one's back. Okay, and then there we go. See what I've done there? So we're getting ridges. Front. Okay. 
So I get, I don't know if that I'm describing that right because I'm going behind the stitch but around the front of the post with my crochet hook. So as long as you're getting the right thing, I, I just think I'm saying it backwards. But so I'm going ahead of the stitch and then I'm going from the back and taking the post from the back of the stitch. Front, front post stitch, back post stitch. Main thing is, is that we're getting this, this lining up like that. Okay, do that all the way around. And then we're going to slip stitch and do that for another row. Okay, so do that, meet me back. You're going to go all, finish this row, slip stitch into the third chain up three, then do the same thing. And it'll be easier to see where to take the post because they'll be sticking out, right? You take this post and you take that post because you're staying in a straight line. Okay, so do that, meet me back. Okay, so we're at the end of the ribbing. We're going to go into that third um, chain. We're going to take our new yarn, pull through, cut our yarn, and I did a little knot. Now we're going to chain up two. Then we are going to do half double crochets, okay? In every stitch. We want 40 stitches. Make sure you count your stitch because I'm actually, this is an edited video because I found that when I got to the other end I had more than 40 stitches so make sure you're doing 40 stitches okay and if you have to skip a couple that's okay it'll be fine it'll just pull it together it's no big deal so 40 stitches around then for this one we're gonna slip stitch into the second chain the next row you're going to slip stitch into the first stitch and we're going to do that all the way. So that way our um, seam here doesn't go sideways, which it always does to me. And you don't gain stitches. So this will, will slip stitch into the chain. Next one will slip stitch into the, the first stitch. So it'll be chain stitch, chain stitch, chain stitch. And we're doing eight rows of this half double crochet okay eight rows so yarn over into the space pull through and there you go 40 stitches eight rows total including this and we're going into the chain into the stitch into the chain into the stitch for our slip stitch okay if you got all that do it and meet me back Stitch, and it turns out that I have to go in the stitch to join. There we go. Now I'm going to chain up two. Now we're going to start our leg openings here, okay? So I'm going to start dividing the work in order to make the back, and then we'll come back and we'll do the belly, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to do 20 half double crochets. So one, two, well, count to 20, and then we're gonna work back and forth on those 20 stitches for six rows. So back and forth, 20 stitches, six rows, and then meet me back. Okay, so I've done six rows. So we'll go to the edge here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I ended up over here. I am going to leave a bit of a tail. Now very gently, I am gonna pull my tail through my loop, but I'm not pulling tight. I'm just pulling it so that it won't unravel, okay? Now I'm gonna go back in here. I'm gonna take my yarn I'm going into this stitch. So see, this one has a stitch worked in. I'm going into this one. I'm going to take my yarn, bring it through, 
and chain up two. Okay, now I'm going to uh, do 20 half double crochets across. Now, um, we are going to be starting on decreases the following rows, okay? So we're going to get these 20 done really quick here. And always count your stitches, okay? It's very important you have 20 because we want to end up with this the exact number and you know you know what I mean right okay so well maybe you don't know because we're not there yet so we want to have 20 half double crochets now I'm just gonna go to the end and then I'm gonna go back and count just to be sure that I've got that 20 So that should be 20, but we're going to go double check, okay? So starting back over here, I'm not counting the chain two as a stitch. So I'm going to the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Perfect! Yay, yay! So now we're going to chain up two, one, two. Okay, we're going to start decreasing. We're going to decrease every row. I'm going to show you for one row, and then I'll get you to do it on your own for the next. Okay? So, yarn over into the stitch. Pull your yarn through. Yarn over into the next stitch. Pull your yarn through. Yarn over. We've got one, two, three, four, five. We're going to go through all five loops. That turned two stitches into one, okay? So our rows are gonna be like this. We started the base row with 20. We're gonna go decrease each side. So this row that we're working on will have 18. And then we're gonna do the same thing until we get down to 10 stitches, okay? So this now counts as one stitch. Two. Three, and we're just doing normal stitch half double crochets. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so now the next two t stitches we want to turn into just one stitch so that we'll have 18 stitches. Okay, so here's what we do. Yarn over into the next stitch, pull yarn through. Yarn over into that last stitch, yarn through. Yarn over, go through one, two, three, four, five loops. You're going through all five loops. Chain up two for your next row. Now, I'm gonna show you again. We're gonna do the next decrease, okay? So, yarn over into that stitch, pull through. Yarn over into the next stitch, pull through, five loops. One, two, three, four, five loops. Yarn over, go through all five loops. That counts as your first stitch for that row. This row is gonna have 16 stitches, so when you get to 15, you're gonna want to do the last two stitches together to make it 16. So do that until you only have 10 stitches left and meet me back. Okay, so I've done down to 10 stitches. See, we have our decrease there. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to my trim color. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to go to the other side. So here's the side we did the decrease. We're going to go to the other side of work. We're going to go in that 
top of that chain two. But instead of slip stitching with the yarn we were using, we're gonna slip stitch with our trim color. And it's gonna be a challenge. You can do it. I can do it. We can do it. There we go. In through that one, in through that one, and then chain three. One, two, three. Okay, big loop. Go back to where I said to do just a gentle pull through. We're gonna undo that, make our loop a tad bit bigger. And on this side, we're gonna go into the top of the chain two on the other side. And we are gonna use our tail to do a slip stitch and then we're gonna pull through our loop and pull tight on this side, okay? So see, we've made a little hole. So going back over here, we are gonna cut the variegated yarn and we're gonna tuck it to the inside with the tail of our new color. And we're just gonna tie a knot. Don't tie too tight because you don't want to distort the stitches, but you want it tight enough it doesn't unravel. Okay, so now with your work facing you, we are gonna do a row of double crochets and you need to end up with 30 stitches, okay? So just double crochets all the way around and then you'll come to the other side, we'll slip stitch into the top of the chain three, but we'll meet back for that. So just double crochets all the way around, you should end up with 30 stitches. Okay, so I've got my 30 stitches. I am gonna slip stitch into that third chain. Okay, then we're gonna chain up three. Now, just like we did, down here, we're gonna start doing our post double crochets, okay? So we'll go around this post from the back and the next one will go around the post from the front. And the next one will go around the post from the back and the next one will go around from the front. And we're gonna do that all the way around for this row and then one more row. And then meet me back. Okay, so I'm at my last stitch. This is my third row. I'm just gonna slip stitch in here. Just, I always make that sound so easy. Okay, so slip stitch, leave a tail. Pull your tail through your loop and then hide your threads. And there is your adorable little dog sweater. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like and subscribe. And if you want notifications of when I have a new video uploaded, hit the little bell. It doesn't always work. So if you don't hear anything, check in on my channel on Thursdays. I usually try to have a new video every Thursday. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye now.